Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about all the products that I've been using so far and the products that I'm totally in love with and I would like to recommend it to you. My mama don't like you and she likes everyone. The first product that I'm going to talk about is the shampoo. I have recently changed my shampoo and I'm currently using the L'Oreal Ever Strong shampoo. Actually, I was recommended by a friend to start using the shampoo and I've been experiencing a lot of hair fall uh, basically because the place where I live in is mostly humid we have a lot of rain here so most of the time my scalp is oily um, but since the time I've been using the shampoo my hair feels lively and um, it's kind of bouncy and I'm really loving using the shampoo. The best thing about the shampoo is it's sulfate free. It has a uh, mild rosemary kind of scent. It's actually a thickening shampoo. It's basically targeted for weak and thinning hair. Uh, the next good thing about this shampoo is the packaging. The opening is at the end, at the bottom of it. So you don't have to keep struggling for the product to come out of it. It's very refreshing. Although I did not take the conditioner, I just wanted to try the shampoo first. But I guess I will go ahead and buy a conditioner for this. The other thing that I would like to talk about is this uh, Argan Oil of Morocco Deep Hydrating Conditioning Treatment. And it says it's extra repairing, revives weak, dry, damaged hair, protects color, and it says in the front that use weekly it's i think it's the keratin treatment and it's argan oil based and it's by the mark and brand i did color my hair as well and then i went for a straightening treatment smoothening treatment which did not go very well i don't think uh, the products he used was so my hair currently are all damaged and i'm just trying to get life back in my hair so um, other than the shampoo this product has been really helping me with that it says you have to use it weekly and it almost works like a conditioner you have to you know shampoo your hair you have to apply this from roots till the end which i've been doing and you have to leave it for three to seven minutes and then rinse it off so basically it's not it's not a conditioner but the work it is doing is deep hydrating and conditioning but it's more like a treatment keratin treat where you're putting it as a mask on your hair and you're leaving it for some time and then you're washing it off and it just leaves your hair smooth silky throughout the day i'm definitely going to get the bottle of this the next thing that i would recommend if you're having the same kind of problem hair fall and thinning hair as i am then this wooden brush is going to save you this one is a bamboo wood brush with wooden bristles as well as wooden handle because of the kind of hair fall that i was having i was so scared of brushing my hair because every time i would brush my hair i would get a bunch of you know broken hair in my brush but this brush goes really well on your scalp if you're trying to apply oil in your hair the bristles will help absorb all the oil in your scalp so this is a must have. I'm going to do a full review of a wooden brush or a hair care routine because I have been able to control my hair fall to a great extent. The next bath product that I've been loving, totally loving is this uh, Clean On Me Soap and Glory Body Wash. This product is so good that I've been using it miserly and I'm not even kidding I use very little of it because I'm just trying to like save on it as much as I can this smells heavenly I'm telling you I have no words for it it's a very fresh kind of a smell it says uh, it's a mandarin peel extract it lathers on your body so well it leaves your body feeling so soft I bought this from Sephora the bottle itself looks so pretty sitting in my bathroom so this is another of my favorite products which I've been using to pamper myself in the bath in this free 
is a Korean brand. I bought their mint and tea tree travel pack and I'm telling you I have never been so happy about my purchase. So I bought this travel pack. You get all these four bottles in this cute little pouch. These are all travel size bottles. It has a conditioner, um, a body lotion, shampoo and a body cleanser. I've not used the body cleanser as of now but I've definitely used the other products especially the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, I assume that because it is a green tea mint shampoo I would smell more of green tea but it smells like uh, mint like menthol in a very mild and nice way and surprisingly after you shampoo this in your scalp and after you rinse it off this shampoo leaves a little tingling kind of mentholy fresh kind of a sensation in your scalp i think it's probably because of the mint the next product that uh, i've been using on my face is this mary Kay pore minimizer and i also bought their microdermabrasion scrub this is one product which is oil free and fragrance free this microderma abrasion product is very soft and it's not sticky at all like you would expect from a scrub it's very mild and it has small particles that you apply on your face and it scrubs very gently but you have to be sure that you use a very light hand on your face and it really gets rid of all the white heads or black heads on your face immediately. Both of them come together as a package. Probably because the uh, exfoliator leaves your pores open, this would uh, tighten the pores up. Although I can feel that there is alcohol in this, but so far I'm really happy with both the products. The pore minimizer serum is uh, you have to apply very little on your palm and you can you know um, moisturize your face with it and it does leave your face feeling nice supple and tight the next product that i've been absolutely loving is the coco chanel noir i have always been using coco chanel mademoiselle uh, although i've been buying other perfumes but i always kept a mademoiselle in my collection all the time even if it is a small bottle or a bigger bottle always because somehow I had this connection with Mademoiselle that it felt like it was my own fragrance and it was so difficult for me to take this chance of not buying a Mademoiselle and going for the Coco Noir but I'm telling you I'm really happy that I made that shift this is the bottle it comes in I'm going to do a full review of the perfume and if you'd like to see my perfume collection please do drop in the comments. This perfume is definitely for girls or for women who are not so fond of uh, sweet flowery smells because this is a little, it's quite strong and i would say that um, it's perfect for an evening out or a dinner date the main difference between mademoiselle and uh, coco noir is uh, mademoiselle has citrusy fragrance whereas this is more woody kind of a fragrance so i ordered this um, kylie matte liquid lip stick and lip cream online i just love this color the, the color that i'm using is candy k it's perfect it comes with a lip liner and it was a happy surprise when i got a lip liner along with lipstick liquid lipstick and the packaging is also very different still liking the color 
and and the texture of it it doesn't leave my lips dry and for indian skin tone if you want to choose one color which you can go for i think this would be perfect okay so the next thing uh is not a product but um it's a movie that i have recently seen it's called the hidden figures if you want a recommendation on a movie that you can watch um that would be hidden figures uh it's an amazing movie the story is about three amazingly intelligent african american women who are working in nasa and and this is the time when um john f kennedy was the president of america and there was racial discrimination at its i i wouldn't say at its peak but it was it was a time of transition where people were raising their voice against racial uh, discrimination um this whole story is about the kind of um, struggles and barriers that you had to go through if you were of a different color if you're working in nasa even though you were brilliant these women were brilliant and at par with any man in nasa of any color this movie gives a lot of inspiration uh, i would say that if you want to you know encourage your daughters or your younger sisters you should recommend this movie to them as well because a lot of women can find a lot of strength by watching this movie i'm going to uh, leave the names of all the products that i've mentioned and the name of the movie um in the description box below i hope this video was helpful and i'm just trying to make more videos so do support me by liking and subscribing to my channel i'm running out of my sunscreen lotion and i would like to uh, i would like to change the brand that i've been using so if you have any recommendation for a sunscreen for me do leave in your comments um I'm looking for a sunscreen which is non-greasy because my skin is little oily and sometimes can be dry as well. So, but yeah, something which is not sticky and it doesn't leave that white residue on your face. So, if you've been using and loving any sunscreens that that you can recommend to, I would definitely would like to try it out. So, do leave in your comments and like and subscribe my channel.